Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of 3D geometry. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that one vertex of a rectangular parallel pipe is at the origin. So one vertex is at the origin and length of its edges along X, Y and Z axis are three four and five units respectively so that is given to us and further the question tells us we be the vertex then we have been asked to find the shortest possible distance between the diagonal op and an edge parallel to z axis so we have to find the distance between these two and that question also tells us the edge which is parallel to Z axis should not pass through O or P. So we have to find the shortest distance then. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have been given here, the options are 12 over root 5. The second answer choice, 12 root 5. The third answer choice that we have here is 12 over 5. And the fourth answer choice that we have here is 12 over 5 root 5. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. So let's see how to solve this question further. So I have, let's say this is my z axis, this is my x axis, and the third dimension, let's say in the page or perpendicular to this screen going inside you have positive y axis so if i have this ideas with me i have been told the length of edges along x y and z axis are 3 4 and 5 so 1 2 3 so for x it is 3 units for y it is 4 units so 1 2 3 4 and for z it's 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 so we have this with us now if i draw this parallel pipe i have this parallel pipe here if i draw so this is parallel to this this is parallel to this then we have that same thing here also So we have this parallel pipe here. Now once I have this parallel pipe here, I draw this upper base also. So we have this. Now if I have this parallel pipe here, it tells me this is three units, this is four units, and this is five units. So when I have this, the coordinates here becomes, this becomes three, zero, zero. This coordinate here becomes 0, 4, 0, and this coordinate becomes 0, 0, 5. Further, if I see this coordinate, that is basically 3, 4, 5. So because it is coming at a distance of 3, it is coming after from y axis also at a distance of 4, and from z axis also it is coming at a distance of 4. So basically, 3, 4, 5 means I understand this is my point P. And this is my origin 0, 0, 0. So that is the idea. Now let's see. First of all, is asking you to figure out the shortest distance between the diagonal OP. So first of all, for the diagonal OP, let's talk about that. So O, we know it's origin 0, 0, 0. P, we know it is 3, 4, 5. Once I have the two coordinates with me, I'll just draw that. So if I draw this, I'll get this diagonal OP. So once I have the diagonal with me, I know how to find the equation of this diagonal OP. That is given by 
x minus x1 divided by x2 minus x1, y minus y1 divided by y2 minus y1, and z minus z1 divided by z. So from here I get x minus 0. So let's say x1, y1, z1 are this coordinates. x2, y2, z2 are this coordinates. So I get x minus 0, 3 minus 0, y minus 0, 4 minus 0, and z minus 0, 5 minus 0. So from here I get x over 3, y over 4, z over 5. So if I compare this equation of line which I have got from here, with my idea of x minus x1 divided by a1, y minus y1 divided by b1, and z minus z1 divided by c1. So from here, I get this as x1 is 0, y1 is 0, z1 is 0. And also, I get from here a1 is 3, b1 is 4, c1 is 5. Now, these ideas we will use further when we use it to find the shortest distance. So that's why we are comparing my equation of line with this form. Now let's find the equation of the other line also, which told to us that it is basically an edge parallel to Z axis and it does not pass through O, that is origin, and it also does not pass through P. So parallel to Z axis, I have four edges. Let's see first them. So this one, but this one passes through O, so I cannot consider this this one so this also passes through p i cannot consider this i have this edge and i have this edge so i can take any one out of the edges so i have if i take let's say this edge so this will have the coordinates 0 4 and 5 so if i take this edge parallel to z axis which has the coordinates this is 0 4 5 and this is 0, 4, C. So out of this, if I take the coordinates here, let's see what I get. So I have equation of that line parallel to, or equation of the edge, which is parallel to Z axis. Again, if I use the idea X minus X1, X2 minus X1, y minus y1, z2 minus z1, and, oh sorry, y minus y1 divided by y2 minus y1, and z minus z1 divided by z2 minus So I know here x1, y1, z1 already. That is your first coordinates. Let's say 0, 4, 0 only if I take it. And x2, y2, z2. I get which is 0, 4, 5. So if I solve for this, I get x minus 0, 0 minus 0, y minus 4, 4 minus 4, z minus 0, 5 minus 0. So I have this. Now further, if I solve for this, I get x over 0, y minus 4 over 0, z over 5. So if I compare this also with my general form, x minus x1, divided by let's say x minus x2 divided by a2 y minus y2 divided by b2 and z minus z2 divided by c2 so i have this form x2 here in this case would become 0 y2 will be 4 z2 will be 0 a2 b2 c2 if i take a2 0 b2 0 c2 5. so i have this coordinates with me now let's use the idea of finding the shortest distance if I talk about the shortest distance, it's given by determinant of, let's see. So shortest distance, if I talk about, it's given by determinant of x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, and z2 minus z1. Then you have a1, v1, c1, a2, b2, c2. And once I have that with me, it's divided by square root of, now, when you have square root of, you take a1 into b2 minus a2 into b1. So, a1, b2 minus a2, b1, the whole square. So, you are just taking as you take the determinant. So, b1 into c2 minus b2 into c1. So, b1, c2 minus b2, c1. 
And after C1, C2, let's assume A1, A2 is present here because that comes afterwards again, right? So C1, A2 minus C2. So C1, A2 minus A1, C2, the whole square. So you have this entire thing. Now let's just substitute the values and get the answer. So shortest distance becomes x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, z2 minus z. I already have x1, y1, z1, that is 0, 0, 0. So x2, y2, z2 becomes the answer. 0 minus 0, 4 minus 0, and 0 minus 0. So you have that same value, 0, 4, 0. Once I have that same values here, 0, 4, 0. Let's see further what I get. A2, B2, C2, and A1, B1, C1. So you get 3, 4, 5. And zero zero five. So three four five zero zero five divided by square root of. So we did three into zero a one b two minus a two b one. So three into zero zero minus zero zero square. Here you get four into five twenty twenty minus zero twenty square. And then you get c one a two means here it's three here it's zero. So 5 into 0 minus 5 into 3, which is minus 15 squared. So further, if I solve it, I get this becomes, denominator becomes 400 plus 225. And numerator, if I solve for, I get 0 into 20 minus 0, which is 20 minus 4 into 3 into 5, 15, 15 minus 0, 15 plus 0 into 3 into 0 minus 4 into 0, which is 0. And everything is basically in mod because you're finding the distance. The distance can never be negative. So you get mod of minus 60, which is basically positive 60. And this becomes square root of 625, which is 25. So you get 60 divided by square root of 625, which is 25. So if I divide by 5, I get 12 over 5. So you get the answer for the question. And if I see which answer option which matches with, it matches with option C. So C becomes the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. So first we found the equation of line drawn through the origin and the point 3, 4, 5 using this idea of equation. From there we got x1, y1, z1 and even v1, c1. Then further, I use the other idea to find equation of line parallel to z-axis. From there, also I got x2, y2, z2, and a2, b2, c2. And then you just use the idea of finding the shortest distance using this formula. So once I put the values inside the formula, I got the answer turning out to become 12 over 5, which matches with option C. So C becomes the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the ideas of using the concepts of coordinate geometry. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JEE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JEE so they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.